Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can print a user form that you have already created. So first off I'm, I'm going to assume that already in the Visual Basic environment you have a user form that's already set up and your user form is already created to your preference. But now at this point what you want to do is print out what's on the user form itself through VBA programming. And the way I'm going to do that and demonstrate it is I'm going to add a command button to the user form. It's actually a very simple process. This button I'm going to change it to the caption to print form and all I'm gonna do is double click this well before I double click I'm just gonna hit F5 so your user form should already be presentable and all you wanna do is just print it so number one I can't go to file print if I try to go to file print I'm just gonna get a, a disabled error I'm not the only way I can actually print this if I was to hit print screen and then maybe paste it into my paint crop it out and there is a much easier way to do that and to do to do so we're gonna do that in the print form command button that we've created I'm gonna just double click that the codes very simple all you do is you get your user form name in this case it's user form one and just do user form one dot print form the only downside to using this command is that it always looks at your default print method for the sake of this video, I changed my default print method to print to PDF. So I'm going to hit F5, and the moment I hit print form, you'll see the small splash screen of print. And now I have the, the PDF file. So if I can just, I'm going to put that on my desktop really quick and hit save. So right now it's just sending page one, or in this case the user form, to the PDF. And there you have it. You see that it printed out to a PDF. Had you printed this out on the actual sheet of paper, this is the way the user form would show up. Now that pretty much concludes this video. Again, one thing that you could do, instead of it doing user form one, you can just do me.printform, and that would be the same process. Thank you all for watching.